reverberated. I was going to say resonated. Yeah. Reverberated. Same. It's virtually the same thing. Not really. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> Give me one second, because I still have tears in my eyes. He's dying inside. You have, you have a grumpy face, my default. Man, I don't even live here. Do I remember my keys, or am I just stupid? No, oh, I don't like how this is going. Adventures are for dummies. Hello, and welcome to the Absurdity Podcast. I am Cameron, and who are you? <laughs> <laughs> just, just not even going to attempt that one. I told you I was done making fun of you. I don't know what to do. That's fair. Yeah. And I'm Jake. It's a he's, pleasure to see you. He's Jake. Move your camera to the left. You're right. You're right. You're right. There you go. That works, I guess. Montour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're not already, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Absurdity69. Follow us on YouTube, Absurd Entertainment. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the likes. Why are you pointing at me? And OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, if OnlyFans. Add Absurd Entertainment. We haven't uploaded anything yet, right? The video? We do? Did you upload one? I thought you did the... the no, I just made it. I never uploaded it. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need to do something. I got scared it. to get on that that website. I mean, yeah, it, it, there's, there's... There's a negative connotation to it. Exactly, man. Um, it's also just like it feels weird when like we're not prepared to do anything for OnlyFans yet. No, not at we, all. We don't have the preparation set forth to actually be doing things on there, but we wanted the like the foot in the door and give you yeah for when we, we want to be there, so we don't have to set it up when we decide to do it. I, I still don't even under, like I don't know how it works. Of like, can they just follow? Like, do you follow them or is it like a, it's like a subscription episode by episode kind of thing? It's like a, it's a subscription, so like it they is, pay a certain amount per month to stay which obviously we're not going to charge much like what five bucks maybe like yeah. we don't want we're, we're just starting out like we don't this is just kind of going to help us get better equipment I guess you could say I mean yeah um, and like just to prepare us to actually be doing bigger things yeah be doing more like more things that would require better equipment because right yeah. now we're very limited on what we can do. I mean, this is what we can do. Yeah, we're in a shed. Um, I mean, we have... We're using webcams. We are using web... I mean... He yeah. has a nicer camera, but he's... Um, it, it, last it time I tried software. to install the driver on my computer, it cr like, my computer crashed. And I don't even know if that's what caused it. But it was associated with But it's associated, it. so and I don't want to... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to attempt it again. Yeah. It's, I'm scared. Like, I, I spent money on a new it's computer. It's the kind of thing that, like, I need my computer that, like, it feels... It's weird when I put a lot of personality into, like, my computer. Like, I talk about it as if it's a person that's yeah. learned. <laughs> I need like, to bring my best friend with me. Yeah. Because, you know, like, last, uh, not last episode, but the episode we did at my place. Was that last episode? Yeah. That feels like five weeks ago for me. It's been such a long week. But we were sitting there, and my computer kept on being loud, and I was like, mm -hmm. she just wants attention. Oh, you could hear it, too. Like, yeah, she was angry. And the she, the she, beginning she of the angry. episode, our audio was awful. Yeah. I mean, awful. We both sound like we were talking directly into, like, tin cans. Which I guess, I mean, we kind of, the entire place is kind of shaped. It is basically a tin can. It's a, yeah. it's a tunnel. Uh, but it got better through the episode sure. as your computer like calmed down, and then I went to go listen to the off the rails. <laughs> it calmed down after we beat the shit out of it with the microphone. <laughs> yeah, basically, I went to go listen to the off the rails when it released on Thursday. I couldn't even get through it, dude. Like the audio was so god awful. Like I couldn't. I literally like I can usually listen and like get through the episode. I couldn't. Just and to be fair, to ed, when it came to editing, I was having a lot of issues with it too, um, because I wasn't using my like I was using my wife's computer. I didn't have my headset. I like left it at home, but I didn't want to go back and get it, and so I was basically hearing it through the tower. Mm -hmm. So it didn't like I, I, it was hard to judge how good it sounded, and the reason it didn't have video was because. I didn't have seven hours for the all to export. Like, 
It had to be up. Well, yeah, because neither of our fucking computers were working. Yeah. So no one could even get started on it until, yeah. what was it, late Sunday? I started on it about 6 o'clock Sunday night. What really hurt, because I, I started it, like, Friday. I started it. Oh, did you? Yeah, I started it. And that's and then it gave me the uh, configuration error. Is it uninstall and then reinstall? I did that. <laughs> and then my computer went zero dark 30 on my ass. <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, what it happened? Got... And then all of my all of the applications were gone. I clicked on everything, and it told me that, like, this shortcut no longer has, like, its path or whatever. The, oh, God. You know, it says, but it's basically saying, like, the shortcut's here. Yeah. Wherever it's linked to, not there anymore. That's so frustrating. Yeah. It took a long time of me just staring at my screen being like, all right, download. Come on. I'm just glad that my Windows installation itself didn't get corrupted, because that would have yeah. cost me some money. Yeah, um, so yeah, last week was, that's why the episode was titled Technical Difficulties. I, I read the title, I'm like, yes. Yeah, exactly. I felt like that was probably the best way to describe it. Um, so that's what it was, but we still didn't get through our intro, or like we kind of just bounced off of that. So yeah, uh, follow, <laughs> subscribe to OnlyFans, um, follow us on TikTok, Absurdity Podcast, um, and make sure you subscribe to Apple and Spotify and iHeart because apparently we're still up there. Yeah, I didn't think we would be after switching to Anchor, but that's mm -hmm. what happened. Like, yeah, I still kind of feel bad about talking bad about iHeart on the air. Uh, <laughs> dip, 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 I mean, we didn't talk, but we just said it wasn't doing well on iHeart, which is true. It was true. Like, I think one of us said, all right, fuck iHeart. <laughs> I think I said, fuck iHeart. Well, if I mean, we'll just you never. Know, no one said no Tasty's backs. So we'll we'll just uh, fingers crossed. We'll just not accept that. Well, we just won't get a sponsorship from my heart, apparently. <laughs> um. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and follow on everything because we love the attention. <laughs> that's that's what we do this for, right? Like this is what the whole point of doing a podcast is for attention. I mean, basically, yeah. Yeah. For the most part, it's like, so it's it's. I have no problem. People in, that have a very high sense of importance that think they need to be heard. Yeah, it's usually not true. Yeah, your mic needs to be more in front of your face, dude. Come it's on. Make me uncomfortable. Well, it might make you uncomfortable, but it's like not picking you up well. There you go. You should, you should have told me that. Light. There, way better. You should have told me that. Like, I just now Amazing. noticed how far away it was from your face. <laughs> well, I also kept. I think I started. Oh hearing, my god, that's way better. I think I started here, and I just slowly worked my way this way. <laughs> I think you did too. <laughs> I naturally progressed to lay on my right arm just because I have that yeah, so you need bad to, left side of my body. Yeah, because I th yeah I think you were in front of it, and then just like slowly started talking this way, and then it's my anti-social vibe of just like <laughs> get me out of the camera. I don't want to be here, bye. <laughs> Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> um. And my freaking J-Lab mic, I'm not, I'm brand new, right? Brand it's new. Lovely mic. Yeah. Except that when I plugged it in and turned it on and had a, it was so distorted. My voice was so distorted on it. And I don't know why. I've not changed any settings. I don't know. Except for when I put this on. Can it just be if the pop filter's dirty? I don't know. It don't look I mean, dirty. I don't think you tested it without the pop filter, did you? No. <laughs> I think that's the first thing you probably checked. I probably sh Oh, well. That's I, get, I bet you're going to take the pop filter off. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be like something on the inside, like there was a hair inside that was like scratching the actual <laughs> microphone. Something like really annoying. Yeah, probably. It's fine. This toner mic's not bad either. It's, For, not, it's a nice mic to look at. Yeah, I mean, it's side. just... Yeah. And it was... Th it's 30 bucks. That better not be a B. It wasn't a B. Okay. It's a fly. It was <laughs> what a weird a thing to... Better, <laughs> better not be a B. Be a B. <laughs> This neighborhood was nice and well until the <laughs> bees moved in. <sighs> Babe, we gotta move. The bees came. All oh, oh. right, it's the bee couple. Speaking of bees, oh my god! So oh, I was bee. in Oklahoma City, um, Tuesday, and I stopped at the stoplight, and I was about to light up a cigarette. I had it out in my hand. I had the lighter, and then I start like, I just how happened to like notice something out of my peripherals. A swarm of bees is in oh. this intersection. There's like 500 of them. Just like, I, the amount of cringe in my body 
was t- I, I yeah, was like I, you just got what I what I got yeah. just be like oh I know I did that the whole, spiders the, I was that it that was like the longest light I've ever been in my life so I'm just like sitting there like uh, I don't like this yeah. I don't like this um <coughs> then you just found your new phobia I mean that's like, that's like full phobia mode when you're just like oh, well oh. I mean um I have a phobia of wasps. <laughs> Who was that? It's just, it's hard to say wasps. 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 You got wasps. a plural. Wasps. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to us going pssst in 30 seconds. All the cats in the audience are just going like, oh, what? Oh, is he talking to me? Is he talking to me? Um, no, it's, I've always had a phobia of wasps. <laughs> so, uh, what? So, do you know, like, was there any cause of the bees? Like, was... Because remember when we read the news story about the... I think someone cut down a tree. Because there was, like, a tree on the ground. Like, it, was a, no, it wasn't a big tree, but it was, like, like a little, like, pine tree kind of thing. So, they, like, cut it down. I think there might have been a hive in there. Oh, because I was remembering... I don't think we talked about it. I think it was something I heard about. Like, I saw a video of it. Of a, uh, a beekeeper's truck that got flipped on the highway. And it was like thousands of bees got loose on this highway. And there was yep, a sh- just got that feeling yeah. again. <laughs> and there, no, a sheriff's truck got like swarmed and surrounded to the point like you couldn't, you could barely see the truck. And he's just sitting there and be like calling it back and be like, I, I can't do anything. Like I'm here now. Uh, I'm stuck yeah. here. Dude, I, I, if I was in that situation, it's like, yeah, I would say like, oh, because window cracked down a little bit. <laughs> like those movies about that. Yeah, dude. It, no, it's 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 terrifying. Uh, it, it's weird to think that a lot of bees can kill you. Yeah. Like if you're if your body, not even your body, if your arm got covered in bees, I think that could kill you. Probably. I don't know what the number is because I've I know it probably varies between like actually yeah. Let me let me look this up real quick. Fact checking. Fact oh, yeah. checking. Yeah, I have a laptop here. So how many bee stings does it take to kill you? <laughs> how many bee stings does it take to kill you? Okay. Um that's a that's a fair question. You hear the tippy tap tappy. Yeah. So the average person can safely tolerate ten stings. That's it? Oh no, ten stings for each pound of body weight. Wait, ten stings. Dude, I can withstand a lot. I was say, I I'm invincible. Withstand, I can withstand, <laughs> what is that, 2,000 bee stings? 10 stings per pound? I'm about, I'm 193, so I'm basically 200. I'm 280. So that's about 2,000, so you'd be 2,800, I'd be yeah. 2,000. I'm invincible. I'm invincible. Uh, it says, whereas 500 stings can kill a child. Oh well, yeah, because they're like 50 pounds, duh. <laughs> okay, so I guess unless you're allergic bees because bees can only sting you once yeah it's wasps they're assholes yeah how many wasps stings do they, to kill them? <laughs> they can just like sh- like just shiv you like crazy for, yeah they're they're like little fucking yeah they're not nice oh cholos just stabbing people in the street can we say cholos is that it's not offensive oh it's not okay it's like aren't you, it's a gang is it cholos yeah oh, i don't know i'm not i'm not a cholo i don't know i'm not a cholo either well, you can tell there's that pigment. Yeah, it's not many. Okay, <laughs> white people there, chillers. I don't think. I could be wrong about that too. It could be. Oh, this thing, apparently, so it doesn't change. I looked up wasp stings instead of bee stings, and it's still. So, are you so doing the weird stink. facts this week, or what? Like, no, you are. I mean, you kind of took over I'm, listen I'm just fact checking myself here I've been doing a one man conversation oh okay feel free to hop in oh you want your weird fact now yeah I love okay it. did, did you know with bees well, no <laughs> I, I guess I could have done that but it's impossible to hum while holding your nose I'm not gonna do it but I'm curious I'm gonna do it by myself later no you'll do it right now try it you're See? right, actually. Yeah. Well, you, can, you actually can't. Um, it says, normally when you hum, the air is able to escape through your nose to create the sound. And, of course, it can't do that when you're holding it shut. Yeah, I just attempted that. That does not work. Nope, it doesn't. That's weird. Because I would assume it would be like my, like your throat vibrating. Because that's what I feel like when you go, hmm. I know. I thought so, too. Actually, no. When you do it, when you hum, hmm, it tickles your nostrils a little bit. 
Oh my gosh, I hate this. What? I'm not connected to the internet again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Every time you've moved, it's dropped another one of these down. Good. Oh. Connect. Oh, now we're connected. Yay. Oh, okay. Um, so while being stung by one wasp isn't normally dangerous, 30 to 40 stingers can kill you. Of course. So a phobia of wasps is a very accurate phobia. Because if you have like one big hive of wasps and you piss it off, like you could, that could kill you. Yeah. And that'd be like walking up to a bear almost. It's just like, actually, I feel like that'd be worse than a bear almost. Because a, a bear you could stab, a bear you could shoot. Yes. How would you combat 40 wasps? Run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like with a, at least a bear, you could, like, at the very least, just be like, just punch in the face. But at the end of the day, like, punch 40 wasps? Yeah. We stone cold motherfucker. I hate when ads start playing. <laughs> just got an ad? Yeah. <coughs> For what? It was on a website. Oh, oh, you're on a. I thought it like. Streamlabs gave you a. I was like, no way. Thank you for using Streamlabs, yeah, your number bastards. one site for streaming, recording, and everything in between. I gotta, the, I the, gotta stop monitoring. I'm monitoring, and it's driving me crazy. What's the most dangerous wasp there is? Just make sure the freaking things. There we go. You tap it again. Tap it again. Tarantula hogs are a spider's oh God. worst nightmare. Oh yeah, God. What's um, a train. You don't know what a tarantula hawk is? I'm, I'm, oh my I'm God, at it they're right now. massive. <gasps> oh, oh, mm -hmm. I told you. Oh, oh he is gross. It's he's holding it in his hand. It's, just, it's the size of his hand. Mm -hmm. They're big, dude. I told oh, you. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. Yeah, you should be. They're they're. Oh my God. It doesn't look. Real. They're highly offensive. <laughs> what a. Yeah. No, I know what they look like. I've literally. I know, but I want you to look at the, it right now. It's different when you're looking at it like present. Then what was the? Uh, okay, so after. Is it back? No, I felt like I thought it's I saw something walk. drop, but I guess I didn't. Um. <laughs> what was the? Okay, the 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 What's hornets, that? murder hornets. Murder. Look at one of those. I don't. Those were a thing that weren't a thing because I don't remember ever seeing them. Yeah. Was, but everyone was talking about murder hornets. Yeah, they were a thing. I don't know what happened to them. They just disappeared. It just said murder hornets in the U.S. that stopped the rush to stop the Asian. I couldn't read the rest of it. Oh, uh, how was your week, though? My week was, was week exciting. My week was rough. Um, oh, yeah, because you, you told me about the, the it, long hours. Yeah, we had a guy on vacation, and... Um, Basically, I had to do my job and his. Um, like there was locations that um, there was, how do I put this? There was a location I went to that there was the laundry rooms were on the top floor of every building. Yeah, but not on the top of every staircase. So I climbed probably ten to twelve unnecessary staircases. <laughs> I was there for an hour. It should not take me more than 20, 30 minutes to do something that size. And I was there for an hour because I was just doing more than I needed to. God, I bet you were exhausted just walking up and down those stairs. Yeah. Um, that was, I got there at, not, I think, like 9 a.m. And it was like my third stop, maybe. I, I had my, my Apple Watch on, which I don't have on right now. But the calories... And exercise rings Maxed were done. <laughs> so you had at nine a.m. Like, at nine a.m. I hadn't even like I still I still had twenty two more stops to make, and it was already done. It was like nope. My uh, my third to last step today, walking into my car to leave work, was my was my max. Yeah, and that was at it was like ten about like ten ten. So Monday I worked from like six. 20 to 640 so like 12 and a half hours Tuesday I worked from like 630 to 7 
so 12 and a half hours. <laughs> and then Wednesday, I, I clocked in at 6.15, and I clocked out at 7, 7, I think. So that's what, 12 hours and 45 minutes? Yeah. Oh, no, I wasn't doing that. And so by the end of the day Wednesday, I was like, I am exhausted. Yeah, I um, I made it to work Monday, and then at the – not at the end of work, but while I was at home, I was just sitting there, and it was, like, getting hard for me to breathe where it felt like – it wasn't, like, pressure. It was, like, my sternum and my spine were hurting. Mm-hmm. And but it felt like it was directly in front and behind of my lungs. Yeah. So every time I took a deep breath or I tried to like straighten my back out, mm-hmm. fucking it just was killing me. Like it, I felt horrible. It hurt to breathe. It hurt to talk. And so I didn't go into work Wednesday. I already had Tuesdays off. But yeah. I didn't go into work Wednesday. Couldn't go into work Thursday because I still didn't feel any better. I tried to Google. I was like, why do I feel so bad? But of course, Google being Google, yeah. according to them, I had like 19 versions of cancer and of course. also like a little G.I. Joe up my ass or something. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, I just can't trust That's pretty on par. I mean, yeah, that's usually what happens. You normally do have a G.I. Joe up your ass. I mean, you say singular, but yeah. Multiple G.I. Joes Thank and you. a couple G.I. Janes. <laughs> I, say, I, I have the whole platoon. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, when I went to work yesterday, I clocked in at... I think I left at like six, six, something like that. And I was home by two. I worked eight hours, but I still had like four hours of overtime because of all the work I did beforehand. And then my collection manager was like, don't worry, it won't be like this every week. Like next week, he gave me my, my stuff for next week. And it's, I mean, it's work still, but it's not like... 13 hour day or are you guys short staffed or no we just had a guy on vacation yeah. I know because a lot of places are really short staffed because they're still giving away free money by uh, oh, yeah. giving them a lot of unemployment oh, yeah. it'd be nice like, to get it I mean yeah there's a lot of incentive to not work but I don't I don't get it I don't I don't get the money well, no because you're not employed that's true <laughs> it's, it's unemployment money I mean I didn't I didn't I don't I didn't get the stimulus stuff either I have mine said I was getting it. I never received it. Yeah, I never got it. I got it. a notification be like, you should receive it within the next six days. Yeah. I haven't got my tax return back either, actually. That's a little bit more concerning. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it wasn't much. It was like $600 or so. Hey, that's 600 bucks. I mean, it is. You yeah. can go get you a Sure mic. I could, yeah. I could get. I need a new headset. I need a really. Because. That one, like, for the money, like, it has amazing value yeah. per dollar amount. But, I mean, I need higher quality. I just want that sure mic. And, oh, I want those. But we need – if we are to get those, we have to get an audio interface too because they're not USB mics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're – I don't know what that cable's called. Yeah, but, but we need – if we need to, if we get that, we have to get an audio interface. That would be something – that would take a lot of learning to truly understand how to get things to sound really good. Ah, we could do it. I mean, you could, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it would it would take us a bit. We'd it have would less, be a couple of weird episodes. We'd have we'd have less noise bleed than we do now. Yes, we would. And I mean, it would it would be better because we don't. I'm at that point, we'd have those arms too. Yeah. Because I need those. Uh, uh, I need I need that. Uh, well, I want to get. Is, is it described as an omnidirectional? Like the, all directional for the mic arm? I no. I guess I, it kind of is because I think. Soul. Well, I think it's just like this, but it it just has a thing that goes into the table, and then you set it on the table. But doesn't it have the? Can it go three sixty? I th- I don't think the the arm does itself. I think the okay, holder the for the mic, mic does. Yeah. See that that'd be perfect because like having this right here, like this is nice. But if I could just yeah, like that'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be much more convenient to have this be omnidirectional, just being able to move on just, yeah, just one, like able. one arm, and then like say like it could even be on a ball, and you have a drill point on different parts of the of the ball that you tie it into, and you yeah. just move it around, get it into that slot. Yeah, so it still has like yeah, it could have like I don't know how many points that'd be like sixteen predetermined points to yeah. move it to. You can make it work that way. I mean, it wouldn't be hard. I you mean, you use the same fucking. 
it would take up the same space. Yeah. Too. So we just need you guys to subscribe to our OnlyFans and uh, <laughs> yeah, subscribe to our OnlyFans. No, we we need to get all that stuff set up in order to make money because we can't. In all honesty, we can't make money now. We just don't know how to do that. As far well, it's not that we don't know how to do it. It's like we don't. There's tax stuff that I we need to get worked yeah. out. Yeah, we don't want to get into something not fully understanding what yeah. the consequences could possibly be. Exactly. Also, I think we need to be aware of having our our equipment uh, outreaching our skill. Like I, th- I think we're we're going to end up having really fancy equipment. What are you talking about? Our skill is fantastic. <laughs> okay. Like people, people like listening. Um. Obviously, I mean we're we're, Allegedly, getting, yes. we're getting good listener amount. I wish people would interact with us more and let us know what they think. They're all Russian bots. Yeah, that's all we get is bots. Like, so okay, so not to plug the same podcast over and over again, but I was listening to fucking Jerry Rogan's podcast yeah. because he was talking about a. Every time he makes a post on Instagram, he gets like hundreds of bots. Mm-hmm. They're just what we get of yeah. just like one sentence and then yeah. a link. Promote it here. Well, that shut up. That or the the horny bots. Oh yeah. They were just like I'm I'm lonely. Tonight. Want to see my nudes? No, yeah. I, I don't. I know what gears look like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't need to see circuitry. Yeah, I don't. Very much. I, I just open my computer. I take my computer shirt off. What up, girl? Hey there. <laughs> Sleek. But yeah, because he's he says it takes him like a full ten seconds of scrolling to find like a normal human being. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Instagram's really bad with bots, and I heard Twitter is just as bad with it. Twitter is just like full of hatred. Twi- Twitter is like just a cesspool. Like that's. But you know, in all dangerous. honesty, if you hate us. I still want to hear from you. Yeah, insult me all day. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Maybe I'm into it. I'm. I have something in my eye. <laughs> uh, but no, I would. I wouldn't mind that either. Like, if they want to insult me, go for it. Maybe. Maybe they know that we want them to just interact. So they're just like. I'm they're not purposely even, not. I'm not even going to give you that. Yeah. I hate you so much. I'm not even going to give you this. I tried to get thing. someone to help us. Uh, I tried to get somebody to help us with our social media. Because... Oh, yeah, somebody, Mr. Somebody. Well, no, no, not just him. <laughs> he, <laughs> it's like he... Mr. Somebody over here. I yeah. got an offer you can't refuse. Okay, I guess <laughs> I've you got a... Yeah, he refused it real quick. Real um, quick. Didn't even give it a thought. He was like, nah, no. Yeah, he's like, no. I don't even... I don't... I don't... I don't... Whatever. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not worrying about that. Um, but just somebody to help us post more... Because like, I'm not good at posting... Not that I can't, like, I physically can't post every day. I just don't know how to get people to interact. Like, I don't yeah, know like, engaging posts. What am posts. I going to post every single day? That, like, yeah. Because we don't have fascinating things that go on throughout the week, so what do we... Well, not only like that, but we save that for the show. But I would like somebody that is good at getting people to engage to post something engaging for people to engage with. But I'm not I'm not good at stuff like that because clearly it's not working. <laughs> yeah, I don't think social media is either of our things. No, it's it's not. You're good um, at making videos, but when it comes to actually I'm, I don't even know if I'm good at making those. You make good TikToks. Do I? It's weird that your personal I mean your personal ones still has thousands. Yeah. It's got almost it's got well. I'm losing followers like every day. That's kinda, really yeah. That's depressing. I was at six thousand about two months ago, and now I'm at fifty nine eleven. You're not losing that many. I know I gained some in the pro- I gained some in between two. So like I gain like four or five, and then lose seven. <laughs> uh, it's decently consistent. Yeah, but it's still going. I'm still losing more than I'm gaining. Uh, potato, potato. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, I don't really care because like I've kind of come to terms that I'm not gonna be big on that app that app had a couple of weird turns anyways well that app i'm surprised they came back to get to get big on that app is nothing but luck nothing um, but luck i mean so that's kind of how our situation's been put into with podcasting mm-hmm. because the what happened with tiktok is that 
everyone was able to do anything they wanted. Right. So it got flooded with content. Yeah. So someone's just like, oh, yeah, I like watching this person, but I also like watching these 48 other people. But here's the thing. is like the people that get big are doing something that no one else has done before oh. or putting their own twist on it that makes people like that over other things. So in order to get people to make our podcast big, we have to do something or either that no one's done before or do it better than they did yeah, we need, we in need order to, to get... Twist. Yeah, we need a twist. What's our twist? We need an M. Night Shyamalan twist. We do. Do some really weird twists. And speaking being like, of... Being like, the podcast was dead all along. Speaking of... T- <laughs> <laughs> speaking of twists, next week, Saturday... What day is that? May 8th. Saturday, May 8th at 6 p.m. Or we'll say 6.30 p.m. We're doing a live show. Live on Facebook. Um, and it's going to be fun. We're going to have some guests. I wasn't going to reveal that, but I just decided to spill the beans, whatever. Oh, well. What? Trailer. I said, oh, well. Trailer. Yeah, trailer. Uh, <laughs> we're Not doing a trailer. teaser. We're having some guests, um, multiple guests, yeah. in person, not over a Discord call. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Human interaction. We have, we need, do you still have your other mic arm? What do you mean? Like, you had another one besides that, right? Uh, yes, I have a... I'll have to look. If not, I can use I, a I have stand. I the, the snowball, though, I think. Still. Because you gave it back to me, right? Nope, I have it. Remember, I got it back because I thought this one was, like, messing up. That's right, yeah. But we have four mics total. So we'll be fine. So, but I just needed... But we, I also have a stand I can put this on, or the snowball one on. So either way, like, we have... That's where, where, details I'm going to cut out of the episode because yeah. no one gives a shit. Yeah, where, where's, the lo- where's the location we're doing it on? Right here. Right here? Okay. I told you I'm going to move all this stuff. Yeah, because we're going to present each side and you, man. Yeah. That'll work so out. we'll do corners. And we'll just... I, I was actually thinking about doing corner, person, person, corner, and then setting up the camera. I, th- I think there's just dirt underneath your chair and it's just rustling a little No, I think that's falling. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> um, yeah, no. What I was gonna do is do like person, 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 person on the corner. Really intimate. <laughs> so yeah, that'd look at me all about elbow. I guess it would be plastered, so it'd be funny. I mean, this, I'm just trying to think of the only way to get the uh, the best way to get yeah, all of the us. Best camera angle. Yeah, because I was originally thinking of somebody on every side of the like every side of the table. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but then that would be hard to capture video. The only thing we could do with that is have two cameras, one camera set up. Like one one in each corner, yeah. just facing each other. Yeah. Well, but you would get one, one camera would see the other camera. Not if you set it up right. Oh, yeah. Well, so we could, I mean, we could, we could either, do one. Yeah, well, you'd have to get the front side of the person. Like, I don't know. Well, we could figure, that's just details we'll no, figure you out. just have a, a side view. It's there, fine. Right? We'll figure out the details, but I'm sitting on the end. <laughs> I don't want to sit in the middle. Like this doesn't, this doesn't sound fun to me. Uh, I don't want to be. Tricked. But it's gonna be a long episode. Like we're not gonna do like this typical like hour and a half. It's probably be like a two three hour episode. But we um, that'll probably yeah because. Oh. But okay, so you have things for it. I'm yeah, I have you know, a. I, I was like, God, I wish I had the hot sauce. I was hoping you would. I haven't gone yet. I just got paid. I could order it. Order it. Yeah. <laughs> now should I? I don't want to get the suckers. No, get, get, the, get, the, get, the, get the get the ball. Get get the get the get But I'll never use it again. Uh, just well, no, find one that's not as expensive because that thing was yeah, expensive. It was like one hundred twenty nine dollars. Yeah, you could find one for though. cheaper. Yeah, if there was like like a half yeah, size, I'm sure, like I'm sure sixty. You, I'm sure they have a smaller bottle, so you you would find, oh, you do, it. find it. Find it. What in the hell? Getting attacked? What the hell? I don't know what's happening back there, but it's scaring me. Yeah, that, that literally scared me. I didn't know what was happening. That made me uncomfortable for a second. Oh, shit. Anywho. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have a fun episode next week. Um, so this is kind of your filler until then. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> Hot sauce. Hot sauce. That's your... <laughs> it's, it's, my, it's my little input right there. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Um, I have something I ordered that will be I'm here tomorrow. You can't tell me. I can't. I won't tell you. 
It's not that I can. I just won't. I could tell you, but I don't legally want to. shouldn't. Uh, we got a, a couple games lined up. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to find more. Um, Say war. More. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play a game of war. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be invigorating. <laughs> <laughs> I like that game, but I don't think that'd be fun to watch. No, it wouldn't be fun to watch. It's like at all. watching a game of Risk. <laughs> It's like go play a good game of good go, go fish on here. <laughs> was exciting. Give me threes. Could play a game of Uno. That's always funny to watch. Yeah, Uno's hilarious. We could play a game of Uno. It's so weird that it'd like, just be hard to do on this table. We need a round table for that. And that's also a weird thing of like how Uno has always been. It's always been such a fuck you game. It's always Listen, funny if we to want watch. a really long episode, let's just start a game of Monopoly. I love Monopoly. Nope, I don't. That was, a, that was literally a joke. I will throw that thing across the room. I love Monopoly. I hate Monopoly. that game. It's like a nine-day game. I know, and people hate it. Yeah, I, think I hate it. I think I explicitly love things that people hate, only because I know that I'll be the only one that, like... Yeah. I, I'll, I like getting really good at things that people hate. That way, when it comes up to do it, I'm the only one that's doing it, so I look amazing. Yeah, I just... I hate that So game. when it comes to Monopoly, I love Monopoly. I kick ass on Monopoly, because it's a war of attrition. I'm... I'll have one dollar and be like, they're just like, go bankrupt. I'm like, no. So let's go. when it comes to, okay, we're not gonna, we'll talk about this off the, off air. This is dumb. I was okay. talking about lighting, but oh, fuck, we can talk about that off the air because no one gives a fuck. Um, I think anyone cares about our lighting system. Yeah, <laughs> about our um, shiny umbrellas. <laughs> I mean, that, they're basically just shiny umbrellas. They really are. Umbrellas they're tinfoil umbrellas. Oh god, I just looked right at that bulb. Oh, uh, blind. They're, yeah, they're... Oh, I just... Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bright. Yeah, it is, it is I bright. I, I should have gotten the box ones. I oh. saw those. How much are they? I, I, I don't know. I'd have to look again, but... Yeah. They literally populate my... Everything on my Amazon feed on Facebook is all stuff for podcasting. Same. All of it. Yeah, it it's, it's all it's microphones. It's tables, microphones, lighting. Yeah. Like, everything. I can't get away from Computers. That. Everything. Yeah, I'm. I keep on getting those uh, little portable, portable mics that we were talking about. Oh yeah, the Bluetooth ones. I get a couple of those too. Yeah, it's because we searched it on Amazon. So yeah, Amazon. It's just like populating our Facebook feed. It's, it's weird because okay, so I along with like my my I don't know. I guess I tend to call it an illness, like how I was feeling this week. Yeah. Every time I thought about it, I'd get a notification from Facebook, like promoting something, promoting like. Uh, one of them was something like a back brace, mm-hmm. and the other one was something that helped you breathe. Yeah. And I was like, I want you to listen to me. You need to stop <laughs> that right How now. do you know? I know, I know how they know. Fucking listen to everything. Yeah, I know. It's that, the microphone on your phone is always on. Like the... Yeah, because uh, what was it? There was a test that was run of like women they were talking about mm-hmm. wedding dresses, and like they were talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Nothing on on their phone. They just had their phone. Oh, on I know. Yeah. Talk about wedding dresses, and then next thing you know, on their Facebook feed, they're getting wedding dresses. Wedding dresses and they everywhere. Yeah. Didn't. Yeah. And I was like, that's crazy. And it's like it's it's one of those things that you talk about, and people are just like, oh, this guy. And it's like, no, like it's there. It's tangible. No, it's like, definitely yeah. It's real. It's listen. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. Think about all the things that you used to like when you hear about it. You used to be like, oh, that's like that's not real. Like. The f- like the frogs turning gay and then <laughs> you know no, I've heard no I've heard of that you, just, yeah but do you know the science behind that no oh uh, so educate me so um I'm, again completely stealing content from something else I was listening to but the there was a scientist that was going into plastics and how it affects the growth of mm. humans um uh it shrinks their taints. Of, of humans? Of humans. Well, it shrinks the tails of animals. And um, that's the the uh, causing sign. Oh, what's the name of this chemical? Uh, it sounded vaguely penis-like. It was like phallicides or something like that. And don't don't ask me why I think it was immediately penis-like. But I, I don't question that anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but basically... If it's a it was, dick, you'll love it. <laughs> I just, I just imagine Andy Dick saying that now. Because I did that voice? Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't even mean to I either. I love it. <laughs> if it's Dix, you love it. I love it. But basically what was happening was it was causing men to have lower sperm counts and lower testosterone. 
uh, it was having a weird effect for women as well, but the main thing was for men because uh, if it happens at birth, where if you're born with a smaller taint, then it's irreversible. How but do if, you know? How do you know if your taint's small? You measure it. There's a Compared to what? I don't remember what the measuring was. Compared to what, though? Like, what, there's, there's an average well, for... I, I understand that, but if you are born with that, how well, do yeah, you know how any you different? Know in, in comparison to size, I guess? Like, how do you, like, I feel like my taint might be small. Let me Google this. I wish that was a new insult. I'd be like, yeah, you're going to cry, you little taint bitch. <laughs> you have a small taint. Why did he say that to me? But no, so... Like, I don't... I, I, I don't know how you would... Just, like, come just, on. like, I don't get how you would be like, I feel like my taint is small. <laughs> well, it's normally one of those things that... Uh, I swear it's called phallicize, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. But basically... I don't think it's... And it's not like your taint's shrinking like as yeah, an yeah, adult. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, I guess either you're but born like, with it or... And the, again, if you're born with it, it's irreversible. Like you, you just have a low sperm count yeah. of testosterone. You're born like that. As an adult, you, you don't see that kind of effect, but you have the chemicals in your body that are causing lower. Like a lot of uh, people that work with pesticides, a lot of farmers get a, get pesticide on their clothing. It's it sinks into their skin, and then they have this chemical inside their body now. And their sperm count, some of them are infertile and don't even know it because... Oh, good. Of I worked with pesticides for a couple, six years. You have kids. <laughs> I think your sperm count's the least of your concern. One was created before I ever did pest control. And the other, you, he turned out fine. I don't, I don't think he has a little taint. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked. I don't know. Yeah, like, just saying that none of us have checked... Yeah. But he he seems like he's a decent kid that doesn't have a that won't have a small taint in the future. I hope my son has a normal taint. <laughs> I think that's we something I never we, thought I would say in my life, but here it, we are. Is that is that one of those things where people are gonna be like, "Well, I can't I can't believe you're going to let your son just grow up that way." Like the people that don't like <laughs> raising your kids straight, they think that's a weird thing. You'd be like, "I can't believe you didn't give him a choice." I'm like, "It's not like I didn't give him a choice. He's he's straight." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you sure? <laughs> Look at these two photos. Which one gets you excited? It's just like Arnold Schwarzenegger and it's like Lindsay Lohan. Well, that's a bad example. I don't know why I chose Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> I don't think I've ever found her attractive. I think because no. I all, every, like when I was a kid, the only thing I pictured from Lindsay Lohan was crazy stage of her shaving her head. That's and also, Britney Spears. That is Britney Spears. Lindsay Lohan, I... She went. She went. She was drug always crazy. the same to me. She went drug crazy for a while. Yeah, same she thing. She was in rehab. Like they were a both. Lot. This, they were the, like interchangeable to me. They. I, every time I heard Lindsay Lohan, I, I think, think they hung. They, they all like hung out together. Her, Britney Spears, and Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton like all hung out together. I wouldn't doubt it. Were, wasn't oh, Lindsay Lohan was in uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Wasn't she? No. Who was that? Really famous chick. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it, but it was Ashley Tisdale. She was hot. <laughs> and then the uh, other girl, her name's like London something. I don't know why as a kid I thought that was Paris Hilton. The dark, the darker skin? No, 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 no. no. Oh. The lighter one. I, but that, no, it, it was at a stupid phase when you just didn't know anything. No. Like so Paris you just looked at people like, and be like, I'm assuming that's the name I've heard. I think Paris is like in her late 30s now. And like I thought she's older too. than that. Uh, fact check it. How old yeah. is Paris Hilton? I think she's, she's probably like 38, 39. Paris Hilton's 40 years old. Oh, so I was close. Yeah, you're, you're pretty close, yeah. I think Ashley Tisdale's probably like 30. No, she's, she's probably 30. Lindsay's 34. Lindsay Lohan? Okay. Said Ashley Tisdale? Yeah. They're all part of, like... Because Lindsay Lohan They're was They're all the same, like, generation. Well, Lindsay Lohan was part of the Disney stuff, too. Because she did, like, the parent trap. Did the what? The parent trap. I don't know what that is. Where, like, they made her, like, a twin. And, like, this lady had one twin. This guy had the other twin. And they, like, <coughs> tried to get them together. But they were, like, switching because they didn't know that they were... It's awkward. Uh, Ashley Tistel's 35. So that's close. So Lindsay and Ashley are about the same age. 34, yeah. 35. Paris That's is a, getting old. We're all getting old. Yeah. I'll, I'll be 32 in a couple months. Yeah. 
It's weird that I'm thinking that. I'm, I said it quietly because I don't I want yeah, anyone gonna be, to hear it. I'm going to be 24, which... Oh. It's not bad, but it's just like, yeah, counting down the years. Like They're getting closer and closer. I'm going to be 24. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about it because I just... I realize how fast the last year went by. I'm like, mm. that's how fast every year is going to go by. And that's yeah. kind of scary when you, like, really go... When you really start crunching numbers, you're like, mm. oh. Yeah. Like, think about that last year. Now think about the next 30 years. And yeah. It's going to be feeling like that. And you're like, oh. And you say, I know I'm going to be 60. I'm going to be like, oh, f- why? Like, what's happening? Why am I old and feeling yeah. like shit? But I say that today. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, days just kind of go by. Years go it's, by. And- it's one of those things where it really only goes by because we do a lot of I complained about this before where we do a lot of the situation where we go and we put off things because we don't want to take the time to do them. Mm-hmm. But then by avoiding them, we're just losing more time. Yeah. And by the time end of it, time. you realize you've wasted months of your life avoiding something that was going to be beneficial. Like you were literally going yeah. to lose nothing from it other than the fact you were losing me time. I think I've just kind of come to the conclusion that like you just got to do what you want to do. Um. That's dangerous, though, because then a lot of the times she's like, well, then you never want to do anything productive. At some point, you have to say, no, like, gonna, you have to do things you don't want to do. If you, you have, like, a goal do. in your life, achieve that goal. Do it regardless. Like, But, again, a lot of that, though, is going to be a lot of doing what you don't want to do. A lot of it's going to be saying, they'd be like, God, I really don't want to do this. Well, I'm I mean, just going to fucking Let's do just it. put it this way. Like, I listen to podcasts a lot before like a long like i mean i still do but i was like i want to do something like that and i made it happen we're doing a podcast we've been doing a podcast we're like what 27 episodes deep yeah or something like that came close to a year in yeah not really close october it feels close by the time this podcast hits a year is when a date will be a day before i turn 32 (laughs) because we started october 30th of 2020 Oh, that means every single, basically every single podcast anniversary is going to be a birthday. Yeah. It's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. Well, I know which one's going to end first. My life for the podcast? <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know why that got so dark. Yeah, that got really weird. <laughs> Just um, stare at you like, hmm. I kind of hope it's the podcast. Uh, actually, no, it'll be my life. Well, I'll just keep, we're going to keep doing this till I die. You're gonna be, and dead then you'll on just the move I'm on. Be like, else. yeah, I couldn't get anyone else on the show, so uh, here's my brother. It should be a, you dead in a chair. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I could afford. Bernie's. I could afford. Like, the, the, uh, me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just put sunglasses on. <laughs> Cameron, take it away. <laughs> I'm gonna have somebody behind you, like, marinating you. <laughs> just oh, talking, oh, 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 talking. <laughs> 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 no. Um, Fucking stupid. Yeah, it was. That went that went really bad. <laughs> or comic geniuses or That's what I get paid the zero. Or stupid. That big fat zero that we get paid every day. You wanna hear something stupid? Always. Even more stupid than your joke. Appreciate it. Continue. <laughs> Michigan woman glues eyes shut after mistaking nail glue for eye drops. This people with their glue nowadays. It's like the fourth uh, one. The doctor said that the her contact lenses pr- are probably what saved her life, saved her vision, not her life. She wouldn't have died from it, but she could have gone blind. But her contacts were protecting her. So the glue was on the contact, just yeah. not on her eye. Yeah. God, I can't even imagine what would happen. Like, what do they do if you get glue on your eye? I assume they they're just like we we're taking the eye. Like, there's nothing we can do. Um. No. Well, okay. So here we go. Here's the problem. A Michigan woman nearly lost her vision last week after she, she mistook a bottle of nail glue for eye drops, according to reports. The woman, Yakitra Williams, I know that's weird, like totally normal white, like last name. I said white, I meant last name. <laughs> totally normal white. But her first name is spelled Y A C E D R A H. Yakitra? We'll go with Yakitra. But it's like such an odd first name and then such a normal last name. Yeah, I mean, well, there's a lot of that, though. A lot of people that adopt, like, really normal last names. So she said she wanted to, she went to sleep with her contact lenses in, but woke up at 1 a.m. and wanted to take them out because her eyes were dry. 
So she reached in her purse and grabbed what she believed to be eye drops. <coughs> Instead, Williams took a similarly sized white bottle of nail glue, which she typically uses to repair broken fingernails. That seems pretty smart. Except for the fact that you put them in your eye. So, um, yeah, like, so she says that she reached for a bottle that was clearly... She said both the bottles are pretty similar. Oh, okay. okay. One, they're both white bottles and all everything white looks the same, apparently, so... Well, never make a decision when you just wake up. Yeah, that's why you don't do that. Williams was with her husband, and when she realized the mistake, I was like, oh my goodness, and it dropped in my eye. She said, oh my goodness, before it dropped in her eye? (laughs) She saw, oh Oh, no! no. (laughs) Uh, And I tried to wipe it away, and it sealed my eye shut. I just started throwing cold water. That's even, you don't throw cold water. That makes well, it harder. Also, don't put boiling water in your eye. But... Well, no, you just do like warm or hot water. Well, also, your first instinct when you get glue in your eye is to wipe. That's the first thing you do when you get anything in your eye. By that, you know, that's fair. But if you're dropping something in your eye and then you realize it's glue, just your instinct should be like, don't touch it. Well, no, because it probably burns. So your instinct is like, oh, get it out of there. Maybe, yeah. I guess it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's my first reaction. Anytime something, like, if my eye is, like, sometimes when, like, my contacts mess up and, like, I forget hurt, like, I'm like, oh! I was yeah, about I, to ask you, like, do you wear contacts? Yeah, I wear contacts. Uh, so she said she tried to pull her eyes apart. Aza. Uh, and she was just screaming for her husband to call 911. They said the contacts saved my vision. They kept saying, you'll probably lose your lashes, which I did because they had to pull it, pull on it and flip the top of my lid. Uh, yeah, gross. Uh, <laughs> not like anything I, I related. If you ever get anything in your eye, you should immediately try and flush it out by using a nearby faucet or bottle of water. He noted that it will make a mess, but you may save your vision. If it's any comfort to her, she's not the first person to make this mistake. Oh, good. We have a lot of stupid people. I like that, uh, they specified, they're like, you may make a mess, but it'll save your vision. As if people are standing in the kitchen be like, God, my eyes, but like... The mob. I don't want to mop later. <laughs> Why'd you go blind? God, the I mess. Just, you know, it was messy. I just, yeah, I don't want to. Ma- I don't want to make it messy. I swear to God, my f- computer is being so stupid. I think it's because we're just out here. No, like we're it's disconnecting from my hotspot. That's like three feet away from it. Oh, yeah, that's that's our certain thing. Yeah. Let's see if it pick back up. Oh well. Fox News. You want to hear a, a funny headline? Yes. Biting worms invade coast to mate. You may not want to go swimming. Wait, read that again. Biting worms invade coast I, to mate. I saw this. You may not want to. You did? Yeah. I, you literally worms that bite and they can penetrate your skin. Yeah. And they bite your fingers. <sighs> bite your fingies. Terrifying. Well, I, I didn't see the actual location. I read a little bit into it, but I didn't read the location. on. Is not South Carolina? Oh, it's in America. Of course it of is. Of course it is. <sighs> I thought, I thought biting worms were the ones that are supposed to crawl up your pee hole when you piss in the Amazon. <clears throat> did you did you see the video of the the one they took out that was like this? I was like, imagine that surgically. Oh my god! I have a feeling this chair's about to just fall. Well, because these things are. I know they're like the flimsiest chairs ever. Yeah, um, exactly. Sturdy. We need to invest in some good chairs, not rolly chairs, because like. This hard floor. Well, also because I, I have a child's brain. So if I have a rolly chair, I'll never stop rolling. <laughs> like if I have and like I have a piece of wood underneath my foot, I have to keep on stopping myself physically from playing with the piece of wood underneath. Oh, my I stepped foot. on that like four times. Like I keep playing with it. And it's like I can't play with it. It probably makes noise. So I'm trying not to. Yeah, it does make. Oh, well, I don't know if it does. Or I don't not, like, I know I stepped on it like four times. I I don't like when there's irregularities. I keep on playing with them. Yeah. We need a studio. We do. We need... This This isn't too far off. Well, we need um, the Sound. acoustic pads. Yeah, we need soundproofing pretty yeah. badly. So, if you subscribe to our OnlyFans, we... <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing on it yet. Eventually. Eventually yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, it, it's weird because we, like, we, want the, we want to get things to do the crazy videos, to put on OnlyFans... Then we can't put anything on OnlyFans because we don't have anything to do the crazy stuff with. Yeah, I know. The OnlyFans is what might be giving us the money, but we don't have anything to put on there. Did you see that Apple was, like, Apple Podcasts is doing, like, 
a paid subscription now. I saw something about it, but I didn't look uh, into it because I don't read anything into Apple. They scare me. Something else was too. I was, like a moral. I think, I think Anchor said it was too. Like you could do like paid, <coughs> which is so stupid. Like, I mean, Instagram does that. I mean, I guess if you have like the listener base, that's a good idea to make money, more money. But like, for us, that'd be stupid. Yeah, like, hey, you thirteen people that like to listen, now you have to pay for it. No one's gonna. No one's gonna listen. We're, our listener, our listener view ship would drop. Well, it's also one of those things that you can't like just bring in halfway through. You can't have like a million listeners and be like, "Hey, by the way, you're all paying." Yeah, now you have to now. pay for it. You would lose like seven hundred fifty thousand of them. Here's what we like, should do: make off the rails. Make. Could, um, I mean, that could be our only fans. Stop uploading it to Apple and stuff, and just upload it to OnlyFans. Could and we'd have to stop uploading it to YouTube too. Yeah. Just upload the video to OnlyFans. We could. You want to do that? That makes some people sad, maybe. But yeah. <sighs> would it? <laughs> yeah. Would it? Would it? Before we make a decision, if anyone comments saying it'll make them upset, we'll highly consider it. Yes. If it makes you upset, we'll highly consider doing it. <laughs> God damn it. So, we had a pretty good show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it went better than last week, I feel. I mean, that's not really much of a comparison. It is a comparison. Small, small accomplishments. It's like saying, or, oh yeah, this, this house looks really good compared to, you know, this dirt on the ground. Yeah, but it is an improvement. Everything's an improvement. I know, that's the point. That's what I'm saying. Well, like everything's an improvement. Was the last episode an improvement of anything from the episode before? I guess from the episode before, yes. Um actually last week was a downgrade from the week before. I'm sure because the week before Through the phone audio was great. Yeah, it turned out remarkably well. Yeah. Which was surprising because like you never hear that good of audio if you're making a phone call. I know. It's always the worst signal. Possible. That's because you're going through like a, a connection. But you're I guess not. So. Yeah, this is just like straight. The microphone's like right there. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. So that makes sense. Still wasn't. Just like every time I think about last week and like how everything went, it just frustrates me. It was just like one thing after the other that just oh compiled yeah, up. oh yeah yeah. I think I think the emotional tor- turmoil is what makes me feel so bad. Like this entire week, it's just I was just so. It could be like the stress got to you. But like I, after I got everything on my computer like reset up on Sunday, I really wasn't that stressed. Like I felt pretty good. And there's some. Uh, I don't know. Like there's some kind of weird audio thing happening. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Huh. That's weird. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be like audible, but only time will tell. It's bugging me. <laughs> Are you monitoring still? I'm monitoring myself. I don't know if it's a monitor or anything. I don't know. I mean I can turn it off real quick. <sighs> nope, definitely not that. So, I don't know what it is, but it like, gets more amplified when I put put the condom on. It's just like a whoop, 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 whoop sound. But it's like alternating between our mics. Like, one womp will be yours, one womp will be mine. I wonder if it's just ambient noise just hopping back and forth. I don't know. It wasn't happening before. Yeah, weird. I'm sure it's not going to pick up too bad. I mean, I can hear it in my headset. I'm sure it's not going to pick up too bad. <laughs> um, I'm not too worried about it. He's not too worried. <laughs> Great content, yeah. Great content, yeah. Congratulations. Well, that was, concludes. Gonna, like, when you did that, I was going to be like, oh, he's going he's gonna to go somewhere with us. I wasn't. I, you weren't. I, I went nowhere. You doubled down. On I doubled down on the haltness of where we were going. 
Uh, but that concludes our show for this week. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Absurdity69. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, Absurd Entertainment. Search us if you want to watch the show. Um, subscribe to our <laughs> OnlyFans. Yeah, we um, might be moving the off the rails to OnlyFans. We might be, yeah. Actually. Um, and go subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and iHeartRadio. So until next week, <laughs> toodaloo.